さかい先生 Any word on Tomoe? Yes, but I'm not sure you are ready for her. You make her sound like a demon. That's not far off the mark. Tomoe is fearless. She is not samurai, but she is a born killer. I know the type. No, you do not. Come. Where are we headed? An archery range. The locals saw Mongols training there. I suspect Tomoe was with them. If Tomoe is truly fearless, she'd make a useful ally. A starving leopard is fearless too. Leopards can't master your way of the bow. Let it go, Sakai. She will never join us. Why does she turn against you? I took a risk sharing all I knew with her. When she betrayed my trust, I punished her. It must have been harsh. You saw what she did to the prisoners at Fort Nakayama. That was no mistake. That was a choice. And not the first time she's made it. We don't know it was her fault. You don't. I do. You have to climb to get there. Sure you can make it, Sensei? What are you waiting so for, Sakai? <laughs> you need a hand, Sensei? Not bad, Sakai. You said the only way up was to climb. No. I said you had to climb. It's good exercise. Arrows, Mongol and Japanese. If they were here, they're long gone. We might pick up their trail by the practice target. There is no target. Near that watchtower. Not bad, Sensei. Find out where they went. Move it, Sakai. <laughs> How many Mongols is Tomoe training? A severed head. Used for target practice. Sensei! Mongols here! Use your help. Good work, Sakai. Resting your bow arm, Sensei? Observing your response to an ambush. You knew those Mongols were still here? Yes. You didn't think to mention it? If you can't handle a few Mongols, what good will you be against Tomoe? This is war, not a test. And how many wars have you fought? 
I'll test you as I see fit. I can see why Tomoe attacked you. <laughs> now, where did she go, Sakai? I'll look around. A lot of tracks. A dozen men. Maybe more. Follow the trail. If we catch her, do not wait for me. Attack and keep moving, or you'll die. Do you plan to use your bow this time? If we find her. And if not? Can you take a dozen enemy soldiers without me? If I must. Good answer. Did you see a Japanese woman with these Mongols? I couldn't believe it. She was giving them orders. What did she say? Something about the Sensei and the hot springs. That's all I heard, my lord. Forgive me. I taught a monster how to hunt. They heard Tomoe giving orders to the Mongols. She mentioned Hiyoshi Springs. She's just getting started. Sakai, the way you fight, it's not your uncle's way, and it's not mine. We've never faced an enemy like this. I do what I must to defeat them. A samurai is a guardian, not a killer who darts around like a thief. You didn't see Komodo. I've seen enough! I know it was brutal, but I won't train another monster. I know. I won't let that happen. If Tomoe is going after Yoshi Springs, I need to prepare. So do you. I'll see you at my dojo, Sakai.
Sakai. Any news of Tomoe? Travelers have been shot dead on the roads in and out of Hiyoshi Springs. People are afraid to leave or deliver supplies. You think that's our doing? Hmm. A few archers at strategic points can isolate a whole town. A tactic of yours when you were Clan Nagao's archery master. Tomoe was a good student. Too good. We're fighting your own reflection. We will turn that to our advantage. How do you propose we find these archers? We think like Tomoe. We want to control movement in and out of Hiyoshi Springs. Where do we put archers? A handful of men could shut down the road to the coast. Yes. That path behind the inn? No. Poor cover, no clear lines of sight. You want to cover the largest territory with the fewest archers. It would be smart to control the main entrance into town. Mm, people already avoid the main road. Archers there would be wasted. I would want someone looking over the bridge into town. So would I. The road south runs along a high ridge. Perfect place to rain down arrows. Tomoe would agree. There's hope for you. Let's go hunting. What else did you teach Tomoe? I held back nothing. Including what? We're getting close. Eyes open. Hey! You'm he gets samurai! Those innocent, dead. Tomoe has thrown everything away. Betrayed her people. She is a traitor because the Mongols offer power, wealth, status. Things denied her by birth. Tomoe knew she was born to a lower station than she deserved. Now you're being too kind. Kindness can be useful, even to a warrior. Who told you that? Sun Tzu? My uncle. And he didn't tell me. He showed me. 
Mercy creates a debt. Your uncle showed mercy to people who pose no danger to him. A safe bet. One more snake nest to find. Come. How did... How did Tomoe become your student? She showed up at my dojo with her father's makeshift hunting bow, and refused to leave. You didn't turn her away? I tried, but she sank arrow after arrow into my targets. I had never seen talent like hers. She must have had training. Her form was wrong. It would have been useless in a real fight. But she had no fear of missing a shot. She never hesitated. A warrior's spirit? No. A killer's. I didn't see until it was too late. Ishikawa. You know the name Ishikawa? I do. I have message. Speak. Sensei, all of Hiyoshi Springs will beg for mercy, like the victims of Hironori Naga. Silence! Uh! 
Hironori Nagao. Didn't he die fighting bandits? It was decades ago. He was reputed to be a great archer. Did he study with you? No. Tomoe is spreading lies. But there's a seed of truth. She wants us to doubt each other. We are all that stands between Hiyoshi Springs and a bloodbath. Then we stand together. Hmm. We'll plan the town's defense at my dojo. Meet me there and be ready to fight. Sakai. We must deal with Tomoe's threat against Yoshi Springs before it's too late. I don't understand the fixation on the town. I was born there. Destroying it proves her worth to the Mongols. And humiliates me. But the terrain works in our favor. Two skilled archers can hold off hundreds. Or we allow the Mongols to take it. Tomoe wins a victory and lets her guard down. Then we strike. Sacrifice Hiyoshi Springs for Tomoe. The sacrifice is worth it. Tomoe would agree, Sensei. Finds a guy. She will attack from the north. We should focus our efforts there. Scout elevated positions, place arrows, and... Listen! Did you hear that? One arrow, one death. Tomoe's new friends would visit.
If the point was to kill us, she would have sent more men. Or the point was not to kill, but to delay. Hyoshi Springs, the attack is starting. This way. If I fall today, promise me you will keep hunting Tomoe. I promise, Sensei. She knows you're my student. Your death will destroy my legacy. Your way of the bow will survive with me. Where will Tomoe strike? In the back town, near the waterfalls, the most vulnerable point. If we get there before the Mongols, we can prepare a defense, but it won't be easy. It never is. You two, come here! What is it, my lords? Mongols are heading for Hiroshi Springs. Gather everyone at the inn and stay out of sight. We will deal with them. Yes, my lords. Good sight lines over here. The Mongols won't be able to flank us. We don't have much time. What can we use to our advantage? Not many options. We'll exploit the ones we have. Those barrels could do some damage. Dry grass. Lure the Mongols in. We'll make sure you have flaming arrows. Hornets' nests. Excellent distraction. Take these flaming arrows, and try not to burn yourself or me. Then don't get in my way, Sensei. Get ready. The Mongols will be here soon. They're getting closer. Good. Let's demonstrate the way of the bow for them. They're coming downhill. Take them. One arrow, one death, Sensei. Ready for more. So are they. Coming down the main road. I've got them. No sign of Tomoe. She'll come. More on the way. Help them cross the Sansu River.
Oh no. There she is. That's Tomoe? Burning the Nagao banner. We can catch her. Oh, she'll be long gone by the time we get there. She's a coward. No. She's mocking me. She knows the last student I trained before her was Hironori Nagao. You said he wasn't your student. Which is it? I was young, prideful, callous. Hironori learned from my example. He led a rebellion to seize the clan and lost, but only after butchering Lord Nagao's best men. Hironori didn't die fighting bandits. That was a story to protect Nagao's legacy. There was no saving mine. As his teacher, I could never be trusted again. I was granted the mercy to resign my position. I convinced myself the way of the bow had to survive. But the truth is, I am a coward who should have ended it long ago. You told Tomoe all of this. I wanted her to understand what it meant for me to teach again. And like everything else, she turned it against me. You'll never redeem Hironori Nago, and you won't change Tomoe. But today, you saved the people of Hiyoshi Springs. With my new student, I'll need you at Castle Canada. My bow is yours, but Tomoe isn't done yet. We must keep hunting her. We will, Sensei. Clan Adachi's estate. Lady Masako should be here. <laughs> Lady Masako! Warriors of Clan Adachi! Is anyone here? Lady Masako! It's Jin Sakai! Find out what happened here. <laughs> Someone forced their way in. What happened here? A Naginata, used by the women of Clan Adachi. They fought to defend their family. 
They were trying to escape, past the children through the window. If anyone survived, they may have fled on horseback. Better check the stables. Empty stables? Someone took the horses. Blood's dry. Horse tracks. Someone fled the estate. They left a trail. Footprints. The rider was being chased. Archers were hunting the rider. The rider was skilled, knew how to confuse their aim. A fallen horse. This horse belonged to Clan Adachi. Dead for days. Lady Muzzle, it's me. They said no samurai escaped Komoda. My husband. Lord Adachi died a warrior's death, defending our home. Our home. Why have you come? The Mongol Khan has captured Lord Shimura. If your clan joins me, we can save my uncle and avenge your men. Clan Adachi is dead. Massacred by our own people. Traitors! Why would they kill those who swore to protect them? I intend to find out. I'm coming with you. No. Do not set aside your concerns for mine. The family of Samurai are my concern. I know what it means to be the last of one's clan. I cannot be responsible for your death. You won't be. Ride with me. Here! I fought men at your estate. They were waiting to finish what they started. The night my husband and sons rode to face the Mongols, the assassins came to our home. My sister took the children and fled. I stayed with my son's wives to fight our attackers. We were outnumbered. And then I was the only one left. That's how it ended for me at Komoda. For me, it wasn't over. I buried them here with the rest of our family. to save them, but the assassins caught them on the road, cut them down. My sister, my grandchildren, even little Natsu. She was just born. All I could do was bury her with her mother. This never should have happened. My sister should have been buried with her husband in the north. But at least she is with family. Come. We ride for the Golden Temple.
sorry you endured this alone. I am not alone. The killers are alive. They will pay for what they did. Every moment the killers walk free brings me shame. You can't blame yourself. But it is my duty to punish them for it. You'll have to go in without me. Find the monk named Sogen and tell him the fate of Clan Adachi. What are you plotting, Lady Masako? Indulge a grieving widow. Once you've talked to Sogen, find the armorer. She is repairing something for me. I want you to have it. I will do that. Thank you. I will wait for you on the other side of the temple. Lord Sakai, it is an honor. Allow me to strengthen your armor, my lord. Permit me to refine your armor, my lord. Lady Masako sent me. Said you were repairing something she wanted me to have. The armor. It's one of the finest sets I've ever worked with. Let me get it. It suits you perfectly, my lord. The quality is incomparable. It will serve you well, but if anything isn't to your liking, I can always make alterations. All I need are the right materials. Thank you. I will do my best to make you strong and secure. Farewell. So there's no Lord Sakai, it is an honor. Are you in charge here? I think of myself as more of a servant, my lord. Please, call me Junshin. I made this temple a haven for our people. I'll spread the word. If they cannot make the journey, there are also camps around Ariake. I supply them with all the food I can spare. That's good to know. I'm looking for one of your fellow monks, a man named Sogen. I believe he is sweeping the temple deck. Thank you, Junshin. Continue your good work. Are you Sogen? I am. I am Sakai. A samurai? Alive? I have a message from Lady Masako. Clan Adachi was attacked. She is the only survivor. The Mongols. Traitors. Our own people. How horrible. Has anyone suspicious passed through the temple? A group of armed men? Not that I've seen, but... My duties keep me far too busy. Please tell Lady Masako she's welcome to take refuge here. Thank you for your time. Of course. got the armor. It fits well. It belonged to my eldest, Shigesato. It is an honor. I spoke to the monk. What did Sogen say? He offers you refuge in the temple. So my family's killers know where to find me. 
We need to move. You think Sogan is behind the massacre? He visited my home just before the assassins. The little bastard was their scout. That doesn't prove his guilt. No, but it earns my suspicion. Sogan arrived from Kamiagata at the beginning of autumn. When we first heard the Mongols plan to invade. The plot to destroy my clan took precision, planning. And a war to cover the treachery. Sogan, leaving in a hurry. Let's follow the wolf to his den. We can get down here. You sent me to frighten the monk. I knew he would panic, make a mistake. Now he's leading us to his friends. Stay close. He can't be seen. Masako's alive. She has a samurai with her. That must be who killed our men at the estate. You fools. Now they know I'm part of this. You have to find them. Keep your voice down. I'm going inside. Don't come back until they're dead. Those men slaughtered my family. Spare the monk. The rest can die. Come here and fight! Nowhere to run, Sogan. You destroyed Clan Adachi. I was only a messenger. For who? Knowledge does not end suffering. You know nothing of suffering. Masako. I buried my family. One by one. It took days. But I'm going to leave you for the wolves. We need him alive, to tell us who he serves. Our world has changed. Men of vision must rise to face it. And those in the way must be removed. They were children! <laughs> Masako! He, 
He, he was never going to talk. We still need information. There has to be something we can use. Search outside. I'll deal with things in here. Find me when you're done. Rest, brother. Payment for slaughtering children is that all their lives were worth. Hmm. Names and a symbol. Masako might know them. Did you find anything? A list of names and a clan symbol. I found the same symbol on these men. I've never seen it before. A rival clan moving in to take control. We have to stop them. I will. You cannot do it alone. When my uncle hears of this, he will not rest until the traitors pay for what they did. Help me, and we will bring down everyone who hurt you. Together. When you need help rescuing your uncle, I will be there. Thank you, Lady Masako. Until that time. I have work to do. Good noble. Calm down. Who's been taken? The invaders took our house. Down the road. My wife is there. With my son. You left your family behind? What choice did I have? I'm no warrior. <sighs> I'll help them. Stay here. Best warrior. <laughs> 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 The man mentioned a wife and child. No sign of the family here. Maybe outside.
Laundry, still damp. The attack was sudden. A lot of blood. Someone was killed here. Bodies were dragged, thrown in the water. A child's toy. His family didn't survive. I should let him know. My lord, did you find them? Hmm. Your family was killed. I'm sorry. Why didn't you save them? I ran. Like a coward. I should be dead too. It's not your fault. Don't let their deaths be in vain. Resist the invaders. Help those in need. Yes, my lord. Incense mixed with black powder creates thick smoke. Enough to blind my enemies. Susano, protect me! Who killed these people? A fearsome warrior. He demanded I tell him the tale of Shigenori's heavenly strike. When he didn't hear the answers he sought, he flew into a rage and butchered them. What did he want to know? I am not sure, my lord. Tell me the story. I need to know what he's after. When Tsushima was first settled, a strange and terrible thunderstorm swept across our island. Wherever lightning struck, beasts of lightning appeared. These violent creatures tore through villages, causing death and destruction, moving too quickly to be stopped. The people knew only one man who could possibly stand against the lightning beasts. Shigenori, the fastest swordsman in all of Tsushima. Shigenori never lost a duel. With years of practice, he had created the Heavenly Strike, an attack that struck quicker than the eye could follow. Shigenori lured the creatures to a desolate beach in Komatsu where the sand would slow their movement. Their clash turned the sand to ash and bleached the leaves of trees white. Shigenori's heavenly strike cut through them faster than they could move. As the final beast fell, the storm cleared and Tsushima was safe again. Shigenori began a life of seclusion. Few students found him 
and only the bravest and most skilled proved worthy of learning the heavenly strike. When a storm approaches, a sword is placed at Shiganori's rest by a student who knows of its location to ward off attacks from beasts of nature. The murderer wishes to learn Shigenori's heavenly strike. It sounds dangerous in the wrong hands. Which way did he go? A woman fled toward a nearby bridge. He chased her. He'll answer for what he did here. That's the bridge the musician mentioned. Someone weeping. Where? My lord, so many. They slaughtered. Did you see the man who killed them? I know who he is. Yasuhira Koga. I've heard the name. He fought for the Yarikawa clan. Would you recognize him? I'll never forget that leering face. Follow me. Perhaps I can pick up his trail on the other side of the bridge. Hmm? Horse tracks. Yasuhira was in a hurry. What more do you know of Yasuhira Koga? Only that he was a retainer for the Yaritawa clan years ago. After the rebellion was crushed, the clan was dissolved and retainers dismissed. Rumor says he left Tsushima, but when the Mongols attacked, he returned. From where, I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. He cannot be allowed to live after what he's done. Quickly, <laughs> Nobu! Up ahead, they're constructing a roadblock. <laughs> Mongols, hide yourself.
We're pursuing a man named Yasuhira Koga. He just left. He's been staying in the watchtower. Working with the Mongols? Yes. But last night they argued. Only made out one word. Chigenori. I'll search the watchtower. Find somewhere safe before more Mongols come. <clears throat> what has Yasuhira been doing? White leaves, like those bleached by lightning in the tail. The Mongols have their own version of Shigenori's tail. Maybe he wanted to compare it to the musician's version. A dueling ring. He's looking for it. Yasuhira is looking for someone who can teach him Shigenori's heavenly strike. The white leaves. There are trees like that not far from here. That's where he went. You've helped enough. Get to safety with the others. Thank you, my lord. I hope you punish that monster. Need to find white-leafed trees. Yasuhira must have gathered leaves from here. Someone's being tortured. Stop! 
I told him everything I know! Arsan Hunigan Orchir! Yamar Negum Harbo! Was a man named Yasuhira with these Mongols. Mm. He wanted to learn the heavenly strike from my grandfather and took him away. Your grandfather's in danger. Where did they go? His old training ground. A dueling ring on the Komatsu coast. Please. <laughs> Save him! Sahira cannot learn the heavenly strike. Someone got that tree down in order to cross. Sahira brought Mongols with him. Must be Shinori's dueling ring. What has Yasuhira been doing? Poor man. Killed by Yasuhira. Blade has seen many duels. Footprints. Still fresh. Yasuhira Kuga. 
the butcher of the rebellion. Time hasn't changed you. You were a child when Yurikawa burned, boy. For 15 years, I dreamed of cutting Lord Shimura to the bone. You won't live long enough to face him. The old man taught me the legendary attack before I killed him. Let me show you. What are you waiting for, boy? Not waiting. Studying. Learning. He's fast. save you. deserve greater respect than this. Thank <laughs> you. 